Welcome back to Cigar Time. <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Here we all are, together again at last for the first time. And, uh, wow. you know, I, I can't see that well with my glasses on, so I'll take them off. Good idea. Good idea. Can't see with your glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's They're not better. prescription. It's just a prop to just, just, a look just add to my uh, mystique. When, when my, he wants just to overall take them off. Seriously, he takes them off and stares yeah. at the camera. Yeah. Now, this is a serious yeah. show. You wouldn't know what the bunch of clowns <laughs> yeah. that I work with. Lawyers do that. It's a very serious show. And it also happens to be our year and a half anniversary. Is it? Which you were supposed to say, but you didn't. You didn't give him time. You didn't give me time. Well, it's about time. It's, you yeah, had a year and a half. You had a year and a half uh, to get ready broke. for this big moment, well, and you blew it. a year it. and a half in a week. And, and, and well, I want to say how proud I am to work with this esteemed group. This is... The, <laughs> Look esteemed at by who? Yeah. Not, not steamed, esteemed. Yeah, I'm getting right. kind of this steamed. Is the, this if we is don't the, light a cigar soon, I'm going to be steamed. Just hold on to your horses. This is the finest group of people I've ever worked on a cigar show on TV filmed in Horsham, Pennsylvania, without a doubt. <laughs> we should be proud of that. So I want to just tip, tip of the hat. Thank you very little. I don't want to expose my bald pate, so I'll just, just tip pate. the cap. Who said that? And uh, this cool. is the best monkey house you've yes. ever inhabited. The lovely Miss T will tell us all about our cigar today. Our cigar today is the My Father Connecticut. It's an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. The binder is a Corojo 99, which is Nicaraguan. And the filler is Nicaraguan. We have four sizes, Corona, Gordo, Robusto, Toro. And the flavor profile is sweet, spicy, and earthy. Very nice. Thank you. Like you, like you again. Oh, thank you. One of the few milder cigars. Maybe. And it has a very nice band. This compliment. Beautiful band. Actually, it has two bands. Mine has two bands. It has a foot band. Yeah, I, only got, I only got one. Actually, has got three bands. <laughs> you can't have the foot band, it's three bands. We're very yeah, happy bands. today to be joined by Tom McCormick, the regional oh, sales nice. manager for My Father's Cigars and a dear old friend of ours who uh, goes back many, many years with us. Generally Thank speaking. You. Generally, Generally speaking. speaking. <laughs> well, you're a All right. <laughs> <laughs> low blow, low blow. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Tom's going to talk about his cigars and uh, also give you the origin of why they're called My Father's sure. Cigars. Well, the cigar we're smoking today is the uh, My Father Connecticut. So this is uh, our first uh, introduction into the mild to medium category. Uh, we'd say it's a mild plus. Um, definitely our lightest cigar. I think you guys would agree. We're more known yes. for Absolutely. for power and, oh, yeah. and, and yeah. spice. Some spice, which you will find some spice in this with the cigar. But uh, this is definitely our first entry into this part. Uh, the company name comes from uh, Jaime Garcia, who when we first came out with the the My Father blend, the company was named for his father, Don Papin, who is the the founder of the company, the, the master blender, along with Jaime. But the, the company is a uh, celebration of the family. So that's a little bit of history for us. Cool. Okay. Very little. A very little, yeah. <laughs> but we appreciate it. You're welcome. Every little bit helps. Yeah, we'll get there. And as okay, we know, the Papin family has had a hot hand in cigar making for about the last 10 or 12 years. And it, you know, it generally generally acknowledged to be one of the better cigar blenders and makers mm -hmm. in all Central America. The best. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. that. There we go. Well, they, they make nice. And modest too. And modest, yeah, of course. Their own stuff is great, but they make some really good cigars for a lot of yes, other companies do, yeah. too. Yes, they do. Yes. Tatawai and amongst others. Yes, that, that you would have heard favorite. of. A lot of people like that one. Mm -hmm. so very I think good we should cigar. go around the table and get everybody's kind of first impression. Or in some cases, second impression. Yeah, it it it, it definitely is sweet. Um, I would have thought it was a longer cigar, but I, maybe I smoke fast. <laughs> I definitely get the earthy and a little he bit. He did of say that, didn't he? He did. Uh, what? He went there. It was longer when you lit it. First lit it, yeah. It's a shame you missed out on some of the stuff at home. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> no, it's, a good, it's a good. It's thing. a good thing they yeah. miss out on yeah. the stuff at home. Yes, it is. Almost kept a straight face to the whole thing, too. Near you blew away. <laughs> so, speak about the cigar. I was. It was. It's. If you're paying attention, it was. I find it sweet and earthy, um, and there is a little bit of spice, which is surprising for a mild cigar. It's. Yeah. It's a nice. 
if, if for somebody who wants to get something that's spicy but doesn't like something really heavy, this is perfect. Right. Definitely the spice is coming from the innards, not from the wrapper. Not from the outers. That's for sure. Not from the outers, yes. Paul? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Connecticut's in general because I like to be a power hitter. You're a power hitter, yeah. But this <laughs> is this is just, it's right on. It's got spice. It's got flavor. It's a little creamy. It's a little sweet. Uh, it's unmistakably a, a uh, my father kind of product, and I think it will reach out to people that don't right. come to the brand now, yeah, or that's didn't come to the brand before. It's definitely the goal. Yeah. Absolutely, it's working. Makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. Key. Beautiful bands. Uh -oh. Lovely box. Uh oh. That's it right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That I cigar made a real impression on Tia. Well, she really did. Right. But, but she, did, well. she didn't. No. I'm definitely it's still the alive. Of the cigar, I'm getting the spiciness of it. Um, not too much of the earthy taste yet. Uh, I like it so far. And I do get the cream, uh, like Paul, Paul was saying earlier. It is definitely creamy. It's a nice, mild cigar. Nice, mild Connecticut. Well, kind of a mild cigar, it has somewhat of a complex taste. Yes, it does. Yeah. I mean, it definitely... Can, can taste different flavors as it burns, and it burns very evenly. Uh, beautiful light wrapper. I mean, I don't find this really light in body. There's too much spice for it to be yeah, flat out light. Yeah, yeah, it's not, not yeah. light light. Mm -hmm. It's not medium, but, no. but it's definitely, you it's know. It's the Corojo definitely coming through. Yeah, it's a little bit north I, of light. I'll talk about that a little bit later when we give Rob, our Rob, what do these sell question. for? Uh, these are seven thirty. It's not bad. That's these a nice are actually price. It's a nice price point. They're much more in the sweet spot as compared to the re the original My yeah. Father's. Right. Yeah. They're a little bit yeah. more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. Oh, get back here. Tom, why don't you tell us a little bit about your origins? How did you get in the cigar business? Ooh, I mean, speak I generally. Know, but, uh, but, but I will. I will speak generally. Uh, yeah, speak generally. <laughs> so I uh, I came into the industry. Uh, just about eight years ago for a different manufacturer, hmm. which will remain nameless. Uh, I was there for about seven and a half years. I came from outside the industry. Uh, worked for some, uh, uh, I guess, more mainstream corporations, if you, you know. You but, can uh, say it. it's okay. Yeah, I worked, I worked for Pepsi. I worked for a pharmaceutical company. I uh, have a little bit different background for the cigar industry. Pepsi is uh, a pharmaceutical? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, but I, I was really looking to do something different. You know, find, find an industry was, that was much different than anything else I could find, and I, I don't think I could have found anything more different than the uh, yeah, premium right, cigar exactly. industry. It's about as Did different you as the cigar industry. Did you smoke the pharmacy Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry? Were you a cigar smoker? I was not, no. My, my introduction to this, to this, what, this, uh, this industry what was... Within, coming, coming in here and yeah, getting butchered? Yeah, pretty much. Coming in here and getting <laughs> skewered by art. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's an education. Um, definitely an education. So I've... I kind of uh, grown up in this industry at this point. You haven't done a great mm -hmm. job of it, I might add. That's true. You. Remember, I remember the first day he came in for, <laughs> for that other company that he mm -hmm. worked for. I mean, he didn't know anything. No. The deer Seriously. in the headlight effect. Yeah. True. Yeah. I, I think the over-under for me was about two months, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were all sort of betting the under. We were betting yeah. the under on that one. Yeah. Tom, you've come a long, long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Absolutely. Paul. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, an amazing thing is, in our business, you know, we're... we're we're so big and so busy all the time that we work strictly by appointments, and 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 Tom's one, <laughs> Tom's one of those few reps that really, really has mastered time management. Time management, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, from the Andy Reid of school. Management, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll cross right over that. We'll cross right over that. Uh, <laughs> I, I came to my father's cigars about eight months ago. Um, it was a month late. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a month early. <laughs> but uh, it's been great. I've, uh, I've I've joined this company, become part of this family, and I could not be happier. I'm working for the best uh, the best people in the industry, the best manufacturer in the industry. In my point, in my opinion, um, so pretty happy to be here. You really have some stuff to sink your teeth into with these lines. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, when you were working for the giant omnibus company, sure. I mean, you know, it's it's a little bit different. I mean. This is more a family business. Yeah. And, and you know, there's... there's you feel like more of a part of it. Yeah. For sure. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, the people involved at the highest level as opposed mm -hmm. to when you working for that big omnibus. Absolutely. Company. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's something that appeals to a lot of people. 
that get into the industry. I know that, that mattered to me is, I, I like the fact that it w wasn't a huge industry I'm coming from the corporate world that, you know, you could talk to the, the heads of, of companies yeah. as opposed to my previous Instead life just and forget about it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice to be part of something where the, the family who owns and runs the company and they're, they're just so passionate about what they do, they love what they do and it's, it's contagious. You have to, yeah. you have to, you know, they actually you appreciate you being there. Absolutely, yeah, one hundred percent. And, and with actually, the, they probably appreciate you being here more than being <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. And with yeah. the uh, my father slash Papine operation being vertically integrated, it makes it much easier to blend your own cigars. You're not beholden to larger companies or True. or people who specialize in doing that kind of business. Who we kind of know. Uh, you, you can be really hands-on and really, really master the product and turn out some really yummy blends. And be very creative, yeah. which, mm -hmm. exactly. which I would say yeah, you guys exactly. are. Yeah. Did you just use the word yummy? Yummy. I did use the word. <laughs> it's a technical <laughs> phrase in the cigar. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's like Bethoon. <laughs> <laughs> he just called you a Bethoon. <laughs> no, he didn't. A big Bethoon. A big Bethoon. <laughs> a big Bethoon. <laughs> oh, man, you're in bad shape. Yeah. Yeah, you were really rolling today. Uh, we had Mo earlier, but yeah. Paul, do uh, you have anything to pontificate on today? Just a little briefly, Tom. The uh, filler. Sure. Uh, when Tia was describing what the cigar is made of, the filler is Nicaraguan. Yes. But the question always comes up: Nicaraguan what? Yeah. This is a uh, Criollo Habano. Mm. Criollo Habano. Now, Criollo is a kind of an odd. Well, is as far as names of tobacco, it's not an odd tobacco. Uh, because Criollo just means sort of local yes. style. And what that means is Criollo tobacco is totally different in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. This is a Nicaraguan Criollo. Yes. yes and is. we, the, uh, <coughs> the binder and filler are 100% from our farms. Uh, the, the wrapper, this is one cigar where we do use a wrapper from, from Ecuador, so we do source that from someone else. Other where are your that, farms? Uh, Nicaragua, we are in Esteli. Esteli, yes. Yeah, right. yeah. How much flavor Almost are you getting there. from the wrapper? In this case, well, not it, too much. Yeah, I was just going to say. Much about that. Depending on who you talk to, it could be anywhere from hardly any. I kind of want to talk about the of the wrapper for a second because I think, it, to me, I always it's the first thing I taste before I even light it. So to me, it's important, mm. and I just seem to always find like there's one or two that I know I don't like, and it's the wrapper, you know? Well, gen generally speaking, again, mm -hmm. Connecticut wrapper <laughs> has <laughs> less taste. <laughs> has far less taste than just about any other darker wrapper. And, and I, would, I would dare say in the case of a Connecticut scar, probably 90% of the taste is coming from inside. Mm -hmm. Would you? Yeah, I would agree. And in this particular case, hmm. since we know that Nicaraguan Corojo has some some bang to it. Of course, yeah. It, that's really, I think, primary flavor is coming out of the binder here. Right. Yeah, I think I think think you're right. The uh, <clears throat> the the combination of the 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 binder and filler what really stand out in the cigar. Yes. This, and that's, in this particular <clears throat> one, yeah. And that's how it should be with a Connecticut wrap mm -hmm. cigar. You don't really want to taste a whole lot of the Connecticut yeah. wrapper. Yeah. But I find other Connecticut's though are a little bit tastier. So that's kind of interesting. Food for thought. <laughs> yeah, think about that. You did say that, right? Food for thought. Yeah, 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 let's chew on that a little. We'll yes, chew on yeah. that. Yeah. Think about that. <laughs> Hold on. You done? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. So, the, the, the I, I can't get the filler in this is a Nicaraguan Criollo Habano. Mm -hmm. Talk about getting customers confused. We, I mean, last week we talked about a Nicaraguan Habano, and even that, like, we talk about you know, why don't more manufacturers talk more about like instead of just saying it's a Nicaraguan filler like okay what what kind of seed is it but I don't even know where to go with a Nicaraguan Criollo, Criollo right? well, Habano because yeah, right? it's a local Habano I guess because Criollo okay, so is sort of a catch-all phrase mm -hmm. it needs a little more definition so calling it a Criollo Habano actually tells you a little bit more yes all right. So. Or at least it tells me a little bit more. You are good at making s*** on the fly. <laughs> on, what, really? Making what up? We have to bleep that. You don't have to bleep this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Look, Bruce is oh, wow. writing everything down. Uh -huh. Oh, my God, he said. 
I said stuff. stuff. It's it's a like family three. show. Two beeps in two weeks. Yeah. 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 I think I'm leaving a pack of beeps. Yeah, I think you are too. <laughs> and I didn't do it. Now you spent some time in Nicaragua with the Pepin family, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tell us a little about that. We were there. That's in, enough. Uh, <laughs> We were there in January for our, uh, for our sales meeting, so we got to see our, uh, our farms, our factories, our, uh, go through our processes. We, we saw a bit of everything. Um, you know, going to the factory, the farms, for, is, it's a great educational experience. You, you go there and you come back with a, uh, you can't help but come back with more of a, an appreciation for the industry as a whole. Um, now, was this your first time in Nicaragua? In, in Nicaragua, yes. Wow. Yeah. It's a beautiful country. It's beautiful. I've never been there. And the people, are, the people are fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a, it was a it was a great trip. We we got to see the a, a nice amount of our land. Although that keeps getting bigger and bigger, we we, we continue to, to to procure more land and develop more of it. So it's it's ever growing really for Pepin. Um, you grow anywhere? Did you grow anywhere else or just Nicaragua? Just Nicaragua. Okay. And just Esteli at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. excuse me. That's that. That's where the uh, best tobacco. Comes. That's the majority, but not all. Okay. Now you, he calls it Esteli, you call it Esteli. I'm a gringo, I call it the wrong thing. Okay. It's guaranteed. I think you need to like My it. guess is either one is probably will get you there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What words of wisdom came from the left side of the table there? <laughs> You're on the right side, I'm oh. talking referring down there. The other left. The other left. <laughs> talking at Tom. <laughs> yeah, we were talking to Tom. Oh, just having like a private conversation. We were having yeah, a just, private just, yeah. conversation. Yeah. I'll tell you guys later. Yeah, that, that, we'll listen later. I really we'll like Nicaraguan tobacco. It's, it's just I kind of wish he'd go just a little bit more milder with the spice. And then I think I would really enjoy it a little bit more. So it's a little too heavy for you. It's any, yeah, and that, that's any line. It's not, it's any line that just has too much spice. I think it's just. I like a nice, like well-balanced cigar. As I was telling them before, you weren't mm -hmm. around, but I was saying I would love to have a cigar that kind of mimicked more play. And well, stop with that. <laughs> you got to stop with that. Why? And I tell my customers all the time in the humidor, and they love it. They no, love they it. Love yes, it. they do. They're yes, they do. They no, they love it. Thank they you. love I it. I thought I heard. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you, you know, can say the same. yes. I can say that. Out of, out of all of the things that I would look to from a cigar, foreplay <laughs> never crossed my mind. Well, it crosses my mind. All right. Well, you know what? They want something you want to say. your definition of it. I mean, I could, you know, the cigar could give a really... Never mind. Yeah. 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 yeah, but you know what I always say. Oh, so what, what do you, do you always say? say? No, no. <laughs> Off time come gems. Well, that was a gem, all right. That was a gem. And Thank Tia you. is no. a babe. So she is a babe. There you go. No question. In about the woods. It. Number seven of last year, 2014. Thank you. Yeah. What? <laughs> cigar babe. Number seven cigar babe in the country. Really? Yes, I was. You seven only out of seven. Nice. No, seven out of ten, and I should have been number two. And but, what she's know. doing <laughs> is, is, on her days off, she's going around and killing off the other six. It's <laughs> <laughs> one way to get the number one. Yeah. <laughs> but I do go around, and I do go to different places around the land sale area, and I hand out cigars, and I talk about the products, and, and they you're love soon, it. you discuss foreplay with people. I sure and, do. And, and you're soon going to be showing up in dealers' stores. Yes. You know, representing Cigar Time, along with very notable cigar companies. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you'll even see her in a My Father event in yeah. your local brick-and-mortar store, which don't forget to support. And I we mean, did a great job on that last event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my great father. job. Yes, we yeah. did. So, yeah. so, you know, we have 10 stores yeah. throughout mm -hmm. the, you know, Delaware Valley, but also we're not on every street corner, and we implore you yeah. to support your local brick-and-mortar yeah. store and, uh, you know, spread the business around. Mm -hmm. We don't mind. We like right. you to shop with us, but we also like, you know, be convenient, use the lounges, take advantage of the deals. Yeah. Uh, and you'll you'll probably run into the lovely Miss T at one of your neighborhood brick and mortar stores at some event she'll be representing cigar time and helping out with the event. And if yes. she's not there, call and ask for her. Ask for her by name. Yes. Yeah, ask for Miss T. Yeah. Miss T. Yeah. Only who you and my father events are really cool. They give out a lot of nice Accessories, we, swag. They do raffles. It's it's a yeah. it's a very fun. We event. had a good one out in Lancaster. Yeah, we had a great one for your guys' uh, grand events. opening there, right? Yeah, yeah we right. did. Yeah. It was for the grand opening, and yeah. and it was amazing. Yeah. I couldn't believe how much stuff you guys gave out. In Lancaster, yeah. 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 
God, take it away. Right. Do we have any events <laughs> yes. for my father? Yes, actually, for the next, do. beginning today, for the next two weeks, uh, if you buy any three My Father cigars, we're going to give you one for free. Wow. Ooh. I know, very cool. nice, something different for us. Um, <laughs> so that's the next two weeks. We also have several events coming up. And at these events, it's buy three, get two free. Another Ooh. little Ooh. French and Step it up there. now. Great. So, yes. Don't let so this, uh, <laughs> this Saturday, <laughs> this Saturday the 4th, we're going to start here in Horsham from 12 to 3, and then we're going to move up to... Yeah. Did I interrupt you? <laughs> no, are you trying to say something? <laughs> no. I knew I heard some static coming from the side. 12 to in Horsham and 5 to 8 in Colmar. That's this Saturday. That's um, Friday. And the following Friday, and I'll talk more about this next week, but uh, the following Friday we're going to be 12 to 3 in Freehold and 5 to 8 in Oxford Valley. Cool. Why are you pointing at me? Because you work at both stores. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, and then the following day, Lancaster, 12 to 3, Lancaster. and then Fraser from 5 to 8. I love how you Buy three, get two free. You know, I met a guy in go. the Oxford Valley Three store who said, I don't understand. I go into Horsham and you're there. I go into Freehold and you're there. I come to Oxford Valley and you're there. Do you just stand around every cigar store in no, the chain? just tell them your evil twin Thor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Loki. Um, well, that is actually what I told them. Okay. I said, no, the other guys weren't me. The other guys are better looking. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have any Okay, I think, like 11 cigars. I think it's time to talk about our cigar and, and then eventually yeah. put a number on it. Talk about it. Okay. Scott, you lead off. Yes, sir. Um, no better. Mm. You all right over there? Just clearing my throat for the uh, It's, <laughs> it's from my father. I, I, I like just about everything. Actually, I don't think there's anything that you guys make that I haven't enjoyed. Um, it, it's, the cigar stayed very consistent. It, I do get the earthy. Uh, it's sweet and... Very, there's a very subtle spice to it. I know, mm -hmm. I'm not, maybe it's a white pepper, but it's not <clears throat> overpowering at all. So somebody, if, if you like a milder cigar, and again, you want to try something that's got some, some spice or some pepper to it, then this is the one. Paul? I found that the initial spiciness <clears throat> backed off. It didn't go away completely, but it backed off a lot, and the uh, earthiness and sweetness stayed in there, and uh, that's... That's what a cigar should do. Yeah. Start you off with a bang and then ease up and give you some other flavors to play with. Rob? <laughs> um, I agree with Paul. The, uh, the well, who's got to go first from now on? Who? Well, yeah, he <laughs> does need who's to start go first? first. He's never gone first. I'm going to say I agree with Paul. I agree okay. with this. I'll go whenever you want me. It doesn't matter. He's a follower. Next first. show. First. Next first. show. First. Next show he goes first. Anybody. Next show. You guys are goobers. Okay, Don't go be ahead. scared, Rob. Rob. I'm not scared. Goobers. I, I agree with Paul. The, um, the spice that. actually does back off it um, quite a bit, actually. I mean, it does get on the, the, the front of your, your palate. Um, I'm not getting a lot of taste from the wrapper. Um, this cigar is really not my taste profile. I mean, it's a good cigar. I like, I like um, my father's cigars a lot. This is just a little too mild for me. As for me, I find I find the cigar on the <laughs> slightly higher side of of, of light. Uh, I happen to like this cigar very much. It's uh, you know for not a real expensive cigar, fairly complex. Uh, it had the spice at the beginning; it's mellowed out a little bit. It's an enjoyable smoke that can be enjoyed any time of the day or night. Right. This is a cigar that should hold up against. Or bodied cigars. It's <clears throat> we like to say it's a Connecticut for people who don't normally smoke Connecticut. Right. I would I would tend to agree with that. Somebody's conspicuously missing in her. Oh, didn't in we, her didn't we someone, get someone else here? I, <laughs> yeah, I aware. guess they don't want subjective, <clears throat> you know, this, but it's oh, okay. How could we forget I, Miss T? My, yeah. my my evaluation wasn't objective. Is that what you're saying? No, it was, but he skipped me, so I'm saying he didn't know you were going to say that. He probably would have skipped you too. Okay, fire away. No, I was just going to say, um, first off, I'd like to say mild cigars do have flavor, yes. and some Connecticut's mm -hmm. do have flavor, so I do appreciate that when I get one. I just would like to say, in the beginning, it did have a lot of spice, which can make people put it down right away, because it can be too much, it can be too overpowering, and they don't get, like Paul and, and Rob said, 
how it backed off because they, you know, put it down so fast. So that's why I was saying if you just give a little at a time and then maybe in the middle you want to give a lot, that's a little different. Um, during the retro hail in the beginning, I kind of couldn't do it because it was really spicy. But in the middle, I could, and I could kind of taste some sweetness in the mm -hmm. retro hail. So that was pleasantly surprising. <laughs> um, once I did get to the middle of the cigar, I am starting to enjoy, enjoy a little bit more. Listen, my father, Don Pepin line, they're, it's an, they're great cigars. They're consistent. They're, you know, they're, the draws are always perfect. I've never had one that I, you know, didn't like as far as, like, the draw. The, the cigar is beautiful. Um, it seems like a lot of thought is always put into presentation always. and, and um, <clears throat> advertising and things like that, yeah. and I appreciate that as well, too. Like Rob said, it's just not in the flavor profile, and not everything is for everybody. So. You betcha. Nice nails. Thank you. <laughs> Just like that. They're not for everybody, and they're my nails. Thank you. Wow. Where'd that come from? Well, because I saw right where it belongs. a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, Scott, with his nails, you know, it just reminded me that I should be complimentary of somebody that does nice nails. You had your nails painted? Scott had his nails No, you had a lot of blood on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bleeder. Yeah. That's what I missed. Yeah. His I blood's the, not I coagulated. The coffee mug. What do you expect? We, we painted your nails. I almost cut my finger off. No, what happened is he mug. tried to end it all. <laughs> <laughs> instead of cutting and his wrist. And he screwed that up, too. And he instead messed of, that up. Instead of cutting his wrist, he cut Come his finger. All right. Time for a coffee mug. Time to put a number on it. Time's growing short. I'm going to give this an 8.25. Nice. Paul? I'll go solid 8. Out of seven. I'm going solid seven. Rob? Uh, seven, five. I go eight. I enjoy this cigar, and the I'm price gonna, point is good. I'm going to average it out. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> average it out. You're going to average it out with a ten. You're going to average it out with a ten. Sparky's going to give it a 15. <laughs> I got 20. We're, who's oh, you named your lighter, too? Sparky. I didn't name the lighter. Oh, okay. Uh, Jose okay. Ortega, our vice president of sales, named the lighter. Oh, okay. So it's a very popular lighter. Got a few thousand followers on Twitter, so. <laughs> really? The yes. lighter has more followers than us. Very true. Wait a at? minute. Let's plot. Uh, watch Mark's head explode. <laughs> the lighter has, has more followers, followers than us. we do. <laughs> <laughs> this lighter has a lot of followers. Speak for yourself. Okay. I have a lot of followers. But go ahead. Where can we see you at? Like, uh, on, on Instagram. On uh, social my, media. <laughs> my Instagram name is uh, MF Cigargram. MF? MF Cigar Graham. Cool. My father, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. that's what it stands for. My father. <laughs> of course. Where else would it come from? Ooh, I just thought about it. It starts with mother. Time is growing short. Uh, I know you have a lot of other blends and a lot of things to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, any chance of you joining us next week? Absolutely. If you'll have me back. Well, well do, oh, we have, do, do we have a choice? No, not really. <laughs> <I think. laughs> All right, guys, gals, time to say goodbye. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. Smoke often and smoke happy. Bye-bye for now. Smoke sweet. Cigars are subjective. <laughs> Ciao for now, everybody. I agree with Rob. Just like Tommy Noble says, <laughs> goodbye. Tom, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. And you at home, thank you very much. This is our year and a half anniversary. On behalf of all the Cigar Time crew, we want to thank you very much for your viewership and thank you very much for your patronage. We'll see you next Bye. week.